All right, let's go over interactive problem number 15. It goes pass and north passes and east opens with one heart. We overcall two clubs with our nice hand. It goes pass and partner bids three clubs. Now that three club bid was a huge underbid, huge underbid. When you're a pass hand and you have king, queen, 10, fourth of trumps and a 10 count, that's you, you, that's like the best hand you could have. So you should definitely start with a cubid. Uh, and also a cubid makes it more likely from north's perspective that they might find a 4-4 spade fit. Partner might bid two spades on the way and that could be our best game. So definitely right to cubid with that north hand, but they bid three clubs. East bids three three spades and now south has a weird hand because you'd really like to try to get to three no trump and on this hand three no trump would be much much easier than five clubs we just have nine top tricks and very possibly could build a tent so we'd like to get to three no trump but the problem is that neither one of us has both majors stopped and so it's going to be very difficult if south so south could gamble three no trump with a singleton spade but they don't know they have a spade stopper so you you chose to bid five clubs with the south hand and you get the two of hearts lead and now it's time to think about how to play the hand so when we see what dummy, we can see that we have no club losers and we have no heart losers. Uh, we have three possible losers. We're going to lose a spade to the ace of spades and we're going to lose one or two diamonds. Now, if there was no bidding on this hand, this would be a really straightforward hand. It's a great combine your chances hand if nobody had bid. We could start by, by winning the heart and we could lead a spade towards the king and then if the ace of spades was on side we'd be able to use the king of spades to throw away a one of our diamonds and only lose one diamond that way and if the spade lost to the king and ace uh, then we could come back later in the hand and uh, try a diamond towards the queen and that would be so we'd have two chances but there, there's a problem with that line of play and we'll aside from the fact that we didn't draw trumps, but I was just speeding through it. The problem is that we know from the bidding that that's not going to work, that the ace of spades is surely offside. Like we have 10 opposite, what do we have, 16. So we have 26 points, and our right-hand opponent has opened a heart and bid to three spades. So they have the rest of the deck. We can pretty much bank on them having the ace of spades and the king of diamonds. So we have to find a line of play on this hand that's going to let us make it when... Both cards are offside. So my mind on this hand goes straight to an end play. We need to find some way to make East lead a spade towards our into our king or a diamond in towards our queen. So how do we do that? Well, most end plays in trump contracts require us to eliminate all the suits. So, so the first thing we need to do on this hand is to just cash the heart and rough a heart. And now, this way, if we can get East in, a heart will not work for them. Now it's time to draw trumps. So we go king of clubs, but there's some bad news. The trumps didn't break 2-1. Two, two, Had they broken 2-1, we could just draw the other trump and then work on our end play. But they're 3-0, they're so it'll require us to draw two more rounds of trump to pull all the trumps. There's a problem with that. If we pull both rounds of trumps, we won't be able to end play them. Because what will happen, I'll show you. I'm going to just draw two rounds of trumps. Queen of clubs, ten of clubs, over. But now, when we, if we try to end play them, let's say we can end play them by playing a spade to the ten... Now they're on lead, but they can just get out a heart. And now we're back on lead, and that's not where we want to be. So, so there's a so this is a special circumstance. Uh, this this is what ha, there's a name for this technique. It's called a partial end play. I believe that's what it's called. Uh, don't quote me. Okay. So what happens on this hand is because we need to keep that trump, we need to keep a trump in dummy so that East doesn't have a safe heart exit we have to leave a trump outstanding on this hand so after we come across to our jack of clubs now we can lead a spade to the 10 and east is going to win the jack but now what can they do there they have three choices if they lead a heart we can slough a diamond and rough it in the dummy if they lead the ace of spades we can trump it and we use the king of spades to throw away our diamond 
Or finally, if they lead a diamond, we can just play low and win our queen. So this is a great partial end play. So let me let me show you all four hands. I'm going to jump back and show all cards and do it one more time. And just to comment on East bidding, I really would have preferred East made a takeout double of three clubs. They kind of have support for all the suits. Three spades was one directional or two directional because they've opened a heart. But So I much preferred takeout double by East. But look, your opponents are going to do things that you don't agree with. You're going to be in these declare play spots. And you're going to get to the wrong contract sometimes. Like we belonged in 3-0 no Trump. It would have been much easier to play 3-0 no Trump. Uh, but then you've got to navigate the hand. So it went two hearts lead to the 10 and ace. We play King of Hearts, stripping away the hearts, and Heart Rough. Now we play King of Clubs, and we see the bad news. We cross over to the Jack of Clubs, but we leave that Queen of Clubs and Dummy, and we play a Spade. Now, why do we play a spade and not a diamond? Well, as you can see with the diamond, when West has jack-10 of diamonds, what they'll do is they'll stick in the 10, and it'll go queen-king, and now East can safely play back a diamond. So we don't want to use the diamonds as an end play. We, we really want to play a spade, which... Now, the spade would also cause a problem if West had the queen-jack of spades. They could stick in the queen of spades. But if you listen to the bidding, that is not going to be the case. They're, the East definitely has ace, honor, fourth of spades. So it goes spade to the ten and jack. And now you can see that East has three losing options. They could lead from their diamond king. They could try the ace of spades or the queen of hearts to give you a rough and ace luff. And there you go. That's how you make it, and this is a big part of declare play is not just looking at the hand as a whole. As I said, if you just look at the north-south hands, we have a great two chances of finesses, spades towards the king, spade diamond towards the queen. But the bidding told us that that was not the right line of play. So step one is processing the bidding. Step two is, is imagining how you might end play them. And the necessary steps for an end play are just typically to eliminate the suits that you that their safe exits are and hearts as if we kept our hearts if we tried this too early like if we if we did this whole thing um, oops they didn't play the three if we just played a club and then club and then tried the spade you can see they can what happens is now hearts are safe exits. So that's that was a necessary component. It's eliminating the hearts on our way. All right, I hope you enjoyed this problem, and see you guys soon.